We arrived on the scene of the disaster and what appeared was a ferry wrapped by fire. Uh, most of the part of the ship was wrapped and uh, uh, all passengers massed on the stern of the, of the ship. And the fire was approaching the people because the many explosions during the, the time. Uh, first thing, the weather condition, uh, 30 knots with gust of 50 knots, and uh, the rolling of the ship caused the wave, high six meters, and the columns of smoke, so the area to pick up the people was uh, full of smoke. When we, we came on the, on the scene, we see that the rescue will be very uh, big uh, rescue because of the, the weather condition and the sea condition were, was worse than uh, I ever seen uh, in, the, in other rescue. We were performing the uh, hovering on the deck on the boat on the fireboat and we were using the horse collar and the rescue basket. So we have managed to drop our crew on the ship. So that was help us to coordinate all the people. And so it was much easier to having our staff on board to control the people because of course, uh, there was no panic, but it was a very busy situation because a lot of women and children, old people, so we need to have someone on board. When we had the uh, passenger on board, we took them in a cruise ship near there. Each time we managed to the condi weather condition only four people, but we do this all night long for many, many hours. Uh, we had uh, seven, six helicopters each time to do this. So we, the coordination was very important. And we alternate uh, Guard Coast, uh, Navy, and Air Force to coordinate this in on flight. Another great problem was the, the wind because when we hoist the rescue basket, the wind uh, moved it. And uh, in one case, our rescue swimmer in the, in the deck of the, of the ship to maintain and block the, the rescue basket uh, dropped down and then he broke his, his hand. Uh, but he continued all the night for, uh, uh, to rescue people with uh, one, uh, one hand uh, broken. And uh, he, he taken a mallet for this. Of course, the night was coming and there was still maybe around 150, 200 persons still to save. It was very challenging because everybody that's flying with NVGs knows when, when there is like a snowing condition, a raining, showers, it's very difficult. Plus, the bombing and the fire on, uh, on top of the boat so there was uh, all the conditions to not fly that night. But uh, we have to, I mean, we were the only chances for those people to get saved. To be trained for a situation like this, uh, it's difficult because it's one of the greatest emergency in the in Mediterranean Sea history. So, can be prepared for this. But we have, like Coast Guard, a lot of training for rescue, and both in the water and also in the ship. We do constantly our training. On a week, we do three or five operations like this to rescue people. The techniques, for example, to use the rescue basket or uh, use more than uh, one uh, rescue swimmer. For example, one on the deck and one on board because we can have the eventually change during the operation because our rescue swimmer and the operator uh, were really, really tired. The main thing is the, the joint cooperation between all the forces have to be improved because the cooperation was good, but for face a situation like this, the joint cooperation to be higher and uh, to be more strong between the Navy, Air Force and Coast Guard and be more efficient. <laughs>